Hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between, right? To a video that's been long overdue, in my opinion, right? Um, this is kind of an update video, right? Well, kind of, it is an update video, uh, starting from scratch, right? Fucking the hell, Google, what the fuck? All right, cool. Um, it's, a. Uh, First of all, this isn't no fucking, like, weird apology fucking, uh, let's all sit down and cry YouTube video, because I, I honestly hate all that shit, really. Every fucking content creator that sits there and fucking cries like they're part of the fucking Smith family, you know, take out the ukulele and sing about a toxic train or some shit, I don't know. This isn't any of that right it may sound like it because it's the way i talk but it's not trust me i'm not sad i'm not upset or anything right and this isn't this isn't a bad thing we're going to talk about right it's just a nice update uh on uh where have i been what's been going on what i plan to do for the channel and so on and what we're going to do in the future right so before we uh get started i'm going to try i'm going to try and talk about this as quickly as I can because I don't want to waste anyone's time but uh before we get started just want to say for anyone who's been supporting me right who's been there for the streams who have still been subscribed to me on twitch even though I haven't streamed in a while for those who watch the videos for those who who've uh you know helped me out uh make the videos and fucking get the artwork done for the videos right you know participated in the videos and, and everything like that and just overall been around to support me thank you very much i greatly appreciate it uh and it, it really does help out a lot right but with that said i think what we need to do what i need to do is i need to start over from scratch right so about uh about a year ago nine months i'm looking at the videos right now about nine months ago i put out a video it was like an hour long it was called to my subscribers please leave and basically what it, excuse me i had like a hiccup basically what it was is i sat down and i kind of just explained who i was as a person uh like my outlook on things and fucking and uh what i wanted for the channel and how how I personally felt like there there was just like my, my channel is completely fucked up because I got a big subscriber number but no one's watching them and the reason for that is because you know fucking uh I personally fucked up my channel and the algorithm hates me right so it was my it was my version of just like describing what I want to do with the channel and just going hey listen to all the subscribers that are there that really don't care about the channel, just leave please because honestly, it, the algorithm is fucking over my channel. I didn't want to start from scratch, right? But, you know, I, I thought, I thought, <laughs> that was my first problem. I thought that uh, if I made that video, right, maybe people would see it, click on it, look at it, and go, you know what, you're right, I don't watch this content, unsubscribe. And then we can start anew. Uh, that in itself uh, probably wouldn't have worked because, well, it didn't work. But it's probably due to the fact that YouTube just honestly hates my video. And I wanna, I wanna point out that when I say, you know, I was talking to the subscribers that don't watch my stuff. At no point am I trying to like place blame on anyone or anything like that. The only blame that can be placed on is myself, right? It's how I operated the channel. It's how I went about it and all the stuff like that and to some people i'm entertaining as hell to other people i'm not i get that i understand that i'm not trying to fucking be the next pewdiepie or something oh god i don't want to be the next pewdiepie i'm not gonna fucking pay people to hold up fucking anti-semitic propaganda and then say the n-word and then fucking get away with it and then do it five more times and then still get away with it right that's not what i want to be <laughs> it's not what i want to be uh, this ain't me trying to, trying to make it big on YouTube or anything like that. It really isn't. This has, this has always been a hobby. If anything were to happen from it, you know, which I have been lucky to, again, get some subscribers on, on Twitch, right? You know, 
again, thank you, because you guys really don't have to do that. I, I don't feel like I deserve it. But, uh, you know, fucking, uh, if something ever did happen, it would have been nice. You know, it, it, it would still be nice, but this isn't, this was never, like, the goal, right? The goal was just to, like, make a channel that everyone can hang out with. Now, the reason I'm bringing it all up is because it's very clear, right, that the way I operated the channel and the way I went about it and how I just had this hopeful outlook of, you know what, just make whatever video I want and then it'll be fine. Because even in that video that I made before, I sat down and said, you know what, I'm just not even going to worry about it and just make whatever I want. Uh, well, guess what? When you work hard on something, put the time into it, and you upload it, and you do all that stuff, and you do the research just to get like a couple of, uh, you know, whatever good tags and descriptors and stuff you can do right you know uh and you you sit there and look at it and like it's uh being ignored all that work's being ignored and it's not getting any recognition right whether you deserve it or not fucking it does feel bad honestly it really does and at first i'm sitting here i'm like well i just gotta be better right that's just me i might just be not entertaining as hell right i may think i'm all that and i'm actually not which i mean no one's really all that when you think about it but uh you know i was like it might just be me right but that's fine if it was me it'd be fine but the more i sat there and looked at it i was like you know what i didn't want to believe that the algorithm truly had it out for you on youtube but i can see it as plain as day the algorithm truly has it out for you on youtube right and I, I thought this was the case for for a while being I just didn't really want to believe it and I even in my mind I was playing with the idea of you know what delete the channel restart fresh all that stuff right well I'm now at the point where I kind of want to do that <laughs> right uh gonna delete the channel well not gonna delete the channel I'm sorry let me rephrase that I'm going to rework this channel and along that I'm going to have two new channels right and this isn't me trying to trying to fucking become Smosh or some shit, you know, because they had they had Smosh and then fuck it, what was the one? Ian was bored, but then they changed it to Smosh second channel and then and then fucking Smosh games and cartoon and fucking Smosh movie or some shit. I don't know, like all the all the fucking content creators that do that shit. That's just very weird in my opinion and just very disingenuous. Fucking uh. <clears throat> I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to be that, you know. I'm not I'm not trying to make some multimedia bullshit. What I'm going to do is well, I still want to make the videos that I want to make, right? And not have to worry about it. But at the same time, I don't want it to hinder any of the actual work that goes into some of the stuff, right? You know? Because I do, at the end of the day, it's just me sitting down editing all the videos myself, right? There are people who help me, uh, you know, with the recordings of the videos and stuff like that and help me with the artwork, right? But at the end of the day, it's me coming up with the idea. It's me hosting it. It's me editing it. It's me talking to the art creators in, in, in detail, uh, you know going through step by step whatever they need you know and i don't hate it right it's not me going like man i wish i wish people would just get on board you know because i never expect that of people and every time i ask them ask anyone to help me i always view it as me asking a favor and if they didn't want to do it i wouldn't push them on it right uh it would be like oh well damn well then i'll just do it myself right for example resident evil 5 come up playthrough that we did uh well that was going up. I only had two parts that I uploaded. I'll get into that in a second. But, uh, you know, that whole entire playthrough, completely done. At the end of the day, if, if uh, you know, if Jay Wolfless didn't want to fucking do it with me and he said no, I would have played it myself, right? Would have hated it, but because <laughs> the AI partner's garbage, you know, would have shopped around, maybe asked someone else. But if no one, if I had no takers, would have done it myself, no problem, right? Um, you know, and there are, there are like other co-op playthroughs that I wanted to do and stuff like that. And even like the movie marathon stuff, which was like the last two videos that I put out, 
four months ago in October. Um, you know, if it was just me reviewing the movies by myself, I would have done that too, right? Uh, other people take time out of their day to fucking do this stupid shit with me, and I appreciate it. But at the end of the day, all that time and effort and work, when you see that no one really cares and it's just kind of there, it's a little depressing, right? And at first, I'm like, well, maybe I'm just not as entertaining as I think I am, right? And that'll be fine. But the more I look at it, the more I'm like, no, because if I wasn't entertaining, no one would ever watch my Twitch. You know, I'm not even consistent on Twitch, but even then, like, I'm not saying I'm a big streamer or anything, but I have an audience, right? That's cool. I, those people are great. Those people want me to, like, make a Discord and stuff, and I want to do that. I just don't have time for it. I'll figure it out in the future. But, uh, you know, there are videos that get regular views, right? Some playthroughs don't get views, but it's really weird because the earlier parts got views and then the middle part will get a will get random like spike in views and then the rest will just be super low and it's just so random, right? And then there's other ones which are which like average out around the same around the same uh, mark. So it means like the same people are coming back, right? So it's like if I wasn't entertaining or anything like that, then you would just see a constant decline but that's not the case and then i'm like well maybe it's like the tags and stuff so I'll, you know the seo shit for youtube so I'll, I'll go hard on that see what happens right and youtube's like man doing a great job no views barely in the search whatever and i'm like hmm I'm like I know my I know my titles are pretty generic because I'm not someone who's gonna be like oh my god I lost my mind playing this game you should play it too you know I hate titles like that honestly it's all clickbaity and shit and I really don't like it I don't want to fucking put a picture of my face going oh my god you know I hate it right I find it all disingenuous but then I'll put something like very niche and very random up and then it will just get like a lot of views. I don't know where, and I understand that a lot of people are like, on YouTube, you gotta find your niche, but even then, it's like, for a channel that doesn't seem to be doing well, just having a random spike, and that's crazy, right, you know, random spike in views, but, um, you know, I go down to, like, one of my, one of my better performing stuff, and it's, and, you, you know, some of my better performing videos, and it's like, well, there's definitely an audience there. Is it, you know, I'm like, there's an audience there. If I wasn't entertaining, there wouldn't be an audience there. But then when I uh, switch over to like a different game or something, you know, all that would be gone. And it's like, well, the people enjoyed me and the content. Maybe they just didn't like this game. But then you get to a point in that playthrough or something where like the views would spike again. And you're like, well, do they like this? Do they not? What, what's going on? For example, like... Pokemon uh, Gold and Silver. You know, doing the Pokemon Marathons. Classic game, Game Boy game, Game Boy Color game, right? You know, it averages, most views average around like 10 to 15, right? And then out of nowhere, you'll get like, let me see. Part one is always like the one with the most or something. But even, even this is like a weird outlier. So part one has like 22 views or something like that. Then you go to 19, 11, 9, 5, 10, 6, you know, around the same mark. Okay, well, the same people are coming back. Then, like, part 9, randomly you get 20 views. Oh, okay, that's weird. Then back to 11. Then, then fucking... Sorry, did I skip over one? I felt like I skipped over one because I think this was the playthrough that I wanted to use as an example. Was this one when I wanted to use as an example? No, I don't think it was. But, uh, you know, it's just like random spikes, right? And you're like, okay. But then you see it happen again. I'm trying to find like the exact, it was one of these. Uh, which, ew. which playthrough was it? I keep forgetting. It's been a while since I've even looked at all this stuff. Um, 
one of the playthrough am i even on the right page <laughs> i think i might be but it's like you'll you'll look through it and like a random video on the playthrough would have like way more shit was it was it the original pokemon or was it pokemon gold and silver i don't know if i don't remember let me see it might be the Oh, that, that video was like forever ago. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going through shit. This is unscripted, by the way, just in case you couldn't notice. Um, damn. I don't know which playthrough it was. Like, I, I could have sworn it was like one of one of the Pokemon ones. Could be something else. But uh, basically, you go through like the analytics and stuff, and then it's like, it's like you'll find something. That just has like a random spike in the middle of the playthrough and you're like well enough people thought this part was good enough to watch it and then you look at the watch time for it and you're like yeah watch time fits and, and you know they they stayed for it but then like all the other videos are just way lower and it's like was there something there or something was i just more entertaining it's kind of weird to just find like the middle of a playthrough and then just watch it and then move on um you know, uh, it might have been Star Wars, actually. I don't know. Was it Star Wars? Might have been Star Wars. Let me see. Yeah, I think Star Wars is like the example that I might want to use. But, um, you know, basically you, you look at all the analytics and shit and you're just like, well, I could be the problem, but... I think more importantly it's the algorithm attacking me right it's uh because because I also upload like stream archives and I want to go back to like some of my earlier shit which like I think is just not that good but I'll still keep it there because it's a piece of history to me but I go to like my earlier stuff Danganronpa v3 right I streamed that whole entire game on Twitch and fucking uh each um each fucking what you call it each stream i i archived it on youtube and it's like well part one of shit like that will always have the most views so and then it will dwindle down right and if it was and you know if it was really bad no one would watch it right and you would clearly see that no one was entertained by it but you know part one and part two okay uh, part one 220 part two uh, 119 you know dropped off by half that's cool uh you know part three 71 all right going a bit lower and then after that you see that it starts to average out fucking 69 nice uh 65 51 40 48 uh this one was weird <laughs> this one yeah this one was like a 30 minute video because i fucked up uh, I understand why this one didn't get that many views. Um, it was me like recapping shit that I lost. But uh, 23, so that that one is an outlier to the example. But like, you know, part 7, 48, then part 8, 52, 46, 40, 49, 45. And then it starts to average out around 40, 30, 50, right? You know? And it's like, well, people found it entertaining right so and and that's like a big ass fucking like th each part is like about three hours you know so that's a lot some of them are and it's crazy my most viewed one fucking it's four hours long which makes sense because it's it's more time people will come back to the video but people came back regardless either it either means people sat there and watched through it the whole entire time or they came back to it right multiple times to watch it so you know it averages out then you have some of my better performing stuff, which is like, you know, again, part one will always have the most. So Scooby-Doo, uh, I always, every Halloween, I always do something for Scooby-Doo, except for this past one. I wasn't able to do it. Felt bad about it. Scooby-Doo, uh, Night of 100 Frights. Part one has 1.4K views, right? Okay. Well, those are all people checking it out. First time they may have seen my channel. You know, it's part one of a series. It's always going to have the most. People got to test the waters. You're gonna expect a drop off so it drops off by half on part two now you got 500 well more than half uh 
But uh, the people that stayed around, 515, then drops off a little bit more, 376. Then it averages around like 200 to 300 around that range, right? 329, 282, 219, 263, 229, 206, 216. Uh, you know, so people stayed and watched. Same thing with like Ratatouille, right? And you see clearly that it's like, oh, the algorithm's helping me for certain, certain situations, but you know, algorithm can only do so much. You have to be entertaining enough for people to stay and want to come back, and that's fine. But at the initial go for it to stay there, you need help of the algorithm, right? Which is clearly why part one of Scooby-Doo has like fucking 1.4K, right? But then the rest drops off. Because what happens is that YouTube sees my channel and they go, we see you uploaded YouTube. I'm mean, YouTube. We see you uploaded Scooby-Doo. Man, that's great. Then the next one, then the next playthrough I did while doing that was Ratatouille. Just coincidentally, two, two like very kid-friendly things. And even my commentary isn't that kid-friendly. I swear a lot, right? Then after that, I I was doing I uploaded um the fuck is this? Was this a playthrough or was this a uh Oh that one was weird. Did I really do that like that? Okay. <laughs> I think I did like I think I split it like two parts up or something like that. I don't know. Uh but then after that it was like Batman Arkham Origins, right? And those videos were longer, and it's a game that not really many people are going to be looking at, especially like two years ago, right? And it's like three views, four views, six views, then the DLC for that, five, three, one. Then back to like something like Nightmare Before Christmas, did that for Christmas, right? Fucking that game, Oogie's Revenge. Part one starts at 127, then it starts to average out down to like 30 and 40 views. And again, I'm bringing this up because the views and the watch time and all that shit, it's not the problem. I don't care about that shit, honestly. But I can clearly see that my channel is very not algorithm friendly, right? It's all over the place. There's multiple videos that are like hour plus long, four hours long, three hours long because they're stream archives. And then there are parts of playthroughs that reach up to 40 to 50 parts because I just didn't want to abruptly ended in the part you know i wanted it to have like a clear stopping point but sometimes they go along then you have uh you know some stuff that is super algorithm friendly like the scooby-doo stuff and then there's other things here's the other thing that sh kind of shows uh persona 4 that series persona 4 golden it was one of the best performing like twitch twitch series that i did while streaming tuck all those vods put it on youtube barely any views on them at all again not me blaming on anybody or anything like that right but it's just obvious that this was like a year ago that i it was a year ago no it has been like two years ago i think i think they got the the data wrong on this but um like about two years ago like playing persona for golden nobody's thinking about persona for golden two years ago right even right now persona 3 reloads coming out fucking uh uh, Re Fantasio, Metaphorio, whatever the fuck that game that's coming out. Shaman Gummy Tensei 5 is getting a DLC. You know, no one's thinking about Persona 4 Golden, right? So the algorithm looks at that, they go, very niche, no one's searching it up. It's an old game. Fucking each video is four, four plus two hours, you know, two to four hours long. One of them I think is like five hours. You know, like YouTube that doesn't like stream archives, right? It, the algorithm doesn't want to push that. It wants to push bite size, fucking super, super algorithm friendly. And then they have that weird audio AI that they check because it doesn't just check for licensed music. It also checks for, uh, for, you know, uh, if you're swearing or not. And if you're someone who's like, well, that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Well, then let's test it right now. Because I realized this two days ago when I was watching a video. If you <clears throat> clear up your throat and you say, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe in this video for more, right? How much you want to bet 
the moment I said the phrase, please click the like button. That below the video where the like button is, it glued. It shined bright like a diamond, right? Please click the like button to really help us out. If we, if we reach over 2,000 likes, I will donate a million dollars to Mr. Beast and his cause. And every time you say that, that specific phrase of, please click the like button, right? It's going to glow. It's going to shine. It's going to twinkle. And I noticed that the other day when I was watching a video, I was like, I was like, did my eyes deceive me? I played back the video. And then as the person goes, and they said it as a joke too, please like, comment, and subscribe, right? The button blew up. So if anyone's out there going, oh, YouTube's not monitoring every single word to make sure that you're not swearing. It definitely is. You People running YouTube are scumbags and they're looking for the most like bite size fucking smooth brain content ever and if it's not that then it has to be super family friendly in order for the algorithm to push it because we want that sweet ad revenue right and it's definitely not going to push videos like hey you pikachu part four <laughs> you know it's definitely not going to choose a uh, three hour long stream for the great ace attorney even though if i played it on twitch get a nice audience there right you know it definitely doesn't care about pokemon trading card game the game for game boy color or pokemon snap right i'm just pulling out a bunch of old pokemon games because i was doing the pokemon marathon it's still ongoing by the way i just took a hiatus right and so what happens is that youtube sees that you have videos doing poorly and even if you have videos next to it that are doing nice, it's still going to overall try and hide your channel to the point where even if you click that notification button, did that one glow up? I'm not sure. Please subscribe and click the notification button for more. Did those letters glow up? I don't know. Right. But to the point that even if you click that wonderful bell, um, sometimes they just won't give you the notification. They'll just hide it from you because they're like, we don't want people on the platform wasting time watching content that will not make us money right the time of small creators is gone so that brings me to what this video is about why i want to start over i've been thinking about it for a long time just didn't have the balls to do it so what's going to happen is i'm going to make three separate channels well i'm going to make two additional channels this one i'll probably rename it to stream archives firestorm stream archives something i'm not sure if i'll keep the name firestorm i might rebrand doesn't matter my brand isn't anything crazy i'm pretty sure firestorm is trademarked anyways from dc when i named myself firestorm i i did not even know that that character existed right and i again didn't care about trademarking or anything like that right didn't care about advertising didn't care about the searchability of a name, right? It was just me having fun. And that's all I want it to be. But when I have fun, I also want other people to have fun too. And they can't have fun if they just never see the content. So I'm going to take this channel mainly because I don't want to get rid of it. I just, it's my channel, right? I love it. Oh, and what's going to, so you know, I really don't want to get rid of the channel. Hopefully, people who are subscribed to this already and don't watch any of this shit will just look at it and just finally unsubscribe, right? Because, again, that's another thing YouTube looks at. They're like, you got a big subscribe number, but uh, the views don't match. Watch time don't match. Are you buying subscribers, right? That's why they don't go on subscriptions no more. But no... At no point did I ever buy subscribers or anything like that. And it's a bad look for your channel because nothing adds up. Let me tell you, all these subscribers, I'm a point right now, they're probably in their 20s now. But years ago, I was bored and I wanted to, f I wanted to have fun. And by have fun, I wanted to bullshit my way right onto YouTube. 
uh, not onto YouTube, but I want to bullshit a video out because I knew how easy it would be, right? I said it in one of my videos before. If I wanted to be a scumbag, there is a super clear, easy way to be a scumbag, and I know how it works, and I know how to play the game. That's not what I want to do. I hate it, and I hate people that do that. All that guava juice type fucking people, and Ryan's Toy World, and Coco Melon and shit, and all that weird shit that your fucking niece, nephew, baby cousin, little sister, brother, whatever, all that weird shit they watch. Fucking took my goddamn cousin to see the five nights at freddy movies because i was just curious about it and then she goes she goes man i heard cory kenshin was in this and i'm like who the fuck the fuck is cory kenshin and she's like you know who cory kenshin is he like plays every game like every game and then i said if i look up his channel right now and i see a video that's titled don't laugh tiktok challenge i'm gonna turn off my phone and I might just walk out the movie theater, right? <laughs> so I pulled it up in front of her, scrolled down, not even the second video, man. The first video I see, don't laugh TikTok challenge number 13. And I'm like, hmm, let's scroll down more. Five Nights at Freddy stuff, that's par for the course. GTA stuff, kids love that. Fucking Poppy Playtime. You know, just all the stupid YouTuber bait. Sprinkle with some real games. You know, Crash 4 was in there and Resident Evil 4 was in there. I was like, oh, so he does play real games. That's cool. Um, you know, but it's like stuff like that, that clearly just preys on the children mind. I hate it. I honestly hate it. And I don't want my channel to be like that. Right. And this is not an attempt to make anything like that. What my goal here because I want to be very transparent with you guys. My goal here, make these three channels. This is my archive because I like archiving my streams. It's just a nice thing to do, a nice practice to have. And also there are just some games that are more fun to stream rather than just do a playthrough. For example, I have a whole entire, a whole entire, uh, you know, series of Mass Effect 1, right? It was modded. I did a stream of that. I have that on, I have that whole series on my hard drive and I just haven't uploaded it. I think I have other streams, you know, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, me and some friends played Baldur's Gate 3, you know, it wasn't a playthrough, it was just like a quick stream we did while, while we were in the middle of our own personal playthrough, you know, just us having fun, stuff like that, and then other games that I would love to stream because I think it would be more fun to stream them, you know, like the Ace Attorney stuff, love streaming each and every one of them, but, uh, you know, fucking YouTube hates long videos unless you have a channel built around it and unless you're popular, like internet historian, <laughs> right? You know? And even then, like some of his uh, newer videos on some of his other channels fucking are, are like 20, 30 minutes long, just heavily edited and stuff like that. Not saying that it's bad. I actually, I enjoy it a lot, but uh you can clearly see that YouTube is, is a bunch of scumbags and they don't like they don't like it if you have a vision. They want you to be a cookie cutter, right? Kind of like the Marvel movies. <laughs> Compare San Raimi Spider-Man to the to the fucking Tom Holland stuff. Tom Holland's a great actor, but man, the director for those movies is just so bland. But uh you know? So, what's going to end up happening? This channel will become an archive channel. I'll make two separate channels. One for nice, clean, professional playthroughs, right? And by professional, I don't mean I'm gonna wear a suit and tie and then fucking uh, try and do everything professionally. It's still gonna be me. It's just gonna be more, more YouTube friendly, right? Swearing to a minimum. Video length is gonna be 35 to 25 minutes maybe each, whether, whether the part stops abruptly or not. The titles will probably be cringy as fuck. The thumbnails will probably be cringy as fuck because even all the artwork thumbnails that I put on my that I put on my playthroughs, I don't think YouTube really likes artwork, right? They like big expressive faces, you know. They they like memes, at least that's what they'll push. You know, they like even YouTube Studios fucking sends you emails and they go. Make sure to open your mouth super wide for that big fat cock coming in it. So that the kids will click on it. 
reaction, right? Um, you know, it would be like that. Just more nice and professional for YouTube to look at. And hopefully, uh, the idea of that is, you know, even the games I'll play on that are like more you more algorithm friendly games. For example, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth's coming out. That'll be on that channel, right? In the uh, upcoming days, within the weeks, whenever I have time to do that. Uploading schedule for that channel. Uh, at least one video a week, but you know, for newer releases and games, probably multiple times a week if I can get to it. Again. It's gonna be more professional but it's not a job it's a hobby and the other the second channel well third channel uh that i'm gonna be hosting really it's gonna be my own personal channel right it's gonna be the most unhinged shit ever algorithm not friendly i'm not saying i'm gonna sit here and make like fucking uh cannibal holocaust or some shit like that remember that fucking terrible indie movie but uh you know, it's going to be more stuff like it's still going to have game playthroughs on it, right? You know, most of it is still going to be gaming oriented, right? But then it'll be other videos that I just feel like making, right? If I want to talk about a game series, I'll talk about it. If I want to talk about anime, I'll talk about it. If I want to talk about a movie, I'll talk about it. If I want to sit down and play a session of a game to know prior parts in a playthrough and it's just me in the middle of the game having fun, I'm going to do it, right? If I want to play a very classic niche game that YouTube algorithm doesn't care about, for example, uh, off the top of my head, uh, Tron Bond Misadventures on the PS1, you know, no one's looking up a playthrough of that, but if I want to record and do it, I can do it on that channel without having to worry about it. If anything happens wrong, if anything wrong, goes wrong with the recording, audio, or video glitches and stuff like that, it can go up there, right? You know? And that's why I said I would come back to a Resident Evil 5 co-op. Because only two parts of that playthrough were uploaded on this channel. I still have the whole entire playthrough. I didn't lose the footage or nothing. But the audio is very fucked. We fucked up. I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have done better. I should have fucking monitor it. But in order for those videos to go up, and look professional i have to edit each and every word that was spoken from the fucked up audio and that takes a long time to do and i just run out of steam i don't want to do that so if you were someone who enjoyed that playthrough and were looking to it the new channel which will be my personal channel which i do whatever the fuck i want right it'll be up there with the audio problems and everything because hey man audio may be bad fucking whatever but we had fun doing it and it was very fun a lot of jokes were had a lot of fucking fun moments a lot of stupid shit happened right everything like that you know fucking again the the movie marathon stuff we were doing unfortunately i just ran out of steam and i just didn't want to you know we recorded more videos but it was just a lot of work for me to do in a short amount of time you know if we want to do stuff like that again they'll go on the personal channel that channel will be there for me to not worry and if you guys are interested in that type of content where you don't care about how fucked up the audio gets and stuff like that you just want to see us have fun and not worry about youtube's algorithm and bullshit you can go over there and watch that i know there are some people who just really don't enjoy that stuff i'm not going to force you to see it on on the other channel if you want to sit there and watch a nice calm playthrough again i'm not too crazy with reactions i don't think i am anyways um, you know, you can go and watch it over on a professional channel, you know, if I'm playing a newer game, chances are it will be on the Let's Play channel, right? The professional Let's Play channel. And if you're looking for streams, you come here, right? So with that said, you know, I don't have the channels made yet, but at the end of the video, I'll definitely put them up for you guys. Um, it will be in the descriptions and stuff like that. And, you know, just look forward to it and you know hopefully everybody gets the content they want out of me from it in terms of the twitch stuff the twitch is the, the same i'm gonna try and at least be able to do one stream a week uh, i have a lot of things that i gotta do in my real life you know a lot of responsibilities again this is all just a hobby but like it's a hobby that i want to put work into right um 
And if you guys want to support me, I, I thank you greatly for that, right? I hope to hope to see you there and I hope we have a great time doing it. Maybe sometime in the future, I can figure something out with a Discord, get that going. If I can, that would be amazing, that would be great. Because I genuinely, just on my free time, when I'm playing games, I wish I can stream them, but I just, I just can't because there's too much like, there's too much noise going on in the background and stuff like that. So whenever I get the discord ready, if you just want to watch me play a game, like not recording it or whatever, and just like chilling out right there, maybe I'll play with you guys, something, something like that. If you know, I'm not that crazy of a social bug, but like, you know. I'll, I'll try and I'll try and do something for it because I know there's a lot of people who have been asking for something like that and even during my streams a lot of people are like well can I add you on discord and I feel bad when I say it, when I go when I gotta say no <laughs> you know uh you know so instead of like having a direct direct line to me you know fucking I get super nervous for that type of shit fucking uh, there'll be a discord or something but when that gets ready I'll let you guys know uh yeah, and that, that's the plan. So, uh, as for this channel right now, it's, it's going to be a slow progress, right? You know, for this channel. But some playthroughs are going to go. I'm just going to put it out there. Some playthroughs got to go. They're just too old or they're just something that... you Usually, I don't like getting rid of older videos. But they're just... Some videos just really don't need to be here anymore <laughs> right fucking uh for example man i want to keep the life is strange playthroughs and stuff like it was one of the first commentary playthroughs i did and i love life is strange but dude i'm gonna be honest with you the audio for that shit is so bad <laughs> it's so bad i don't think it's good right Life is Strange Before the Storm, that can probably go to. Honestly, I wish I would play the other Life is Strange games, but they're just boring to me now. Uh, you know? Uh, the Uncharted Lost Legacy, I don't even know. I don't even remember shit for that video. Shadow of the Colossus only had like two parts. Spider-Man PS4, I'll keep that there. Alright? You know, things that just need to get redid, remade. Uh, the Pokemon Sword playthrough stuff, that was done so long ago that like and we're doing the pokemon marathon so i'll probably just fucking get rid of that um you know the vampire playthrough stuff i always wanted to do a playthrough of vampire i got the artwork and stuff everything for it uh mothman did a wonderful job for that but like oh man just again it's one of those things with the algorithm it just hates it so on the personal channel i'll probably restart that when i get the chance Monster Prom, I streamed that, I think. I think that was a stream. Either that I recorded that. I only did like one video for it. I think it was a stream. But like the audio, I believe, is all fucked up for that. Spider Man, Miles Morales. I'm just going to get rid of that playthrough overall because. Oh, yeah, because I, I, uh, I streamed that again before Spider Man 2 came out. Because that initial playthrough, it's just. I fucked up the rendering on it. And so it's not even like it's not even fucking uh i think i uploaded it in like 480p or something like that like i fucked it up or something like that right <clears throat> you know you know just like some some playthroughs that just honestly need to go some playthroughs that might just be missing parts or just fucking like i know resident evil village is missing like one part because fucking that was a stream not not too many things are gonna go like i'm gonna keep most of it but some of this shit just got to pick it up and move it over to and just divvy it out whether it goes to the professional channel or the uh or the personal channel you know it'll go somewhere but it's this is going to be the stream archive channel so we're gonna take all this off of that right you know don't i have a six hour vr chat video no i have a one hour vr chat video oh god Where's the where's the quality of this? <laughs> yeah, this will probably go on the on the other channel. Yeah, I remember doing this. All the audio on this was was crazy, but I have fun doing it. Only eleven views. Man, you guys gotta watch that video. It was funny as fuck.
right? But uh, that's the plan. That's what's going on. This uh, this video has been going on for too long. It's 45 minutes. But uh, you know, it's gonna take some time. But sometime next week, you'll definitely you'll definitely see those channels go up. And again, the uploading schedules for that. My personal channel, whenever I feel like, will probably be like multiple times a week because I'll just be putting whatever the fuck I find funny, whatever I think is fun, I'm gonna do it. The professional channel, I get, I keep calling it the professional channel, but it's it's like the YouTube friendly let's play channel. You know, it's not it's not gonna be overtly family friendly, right? You know, it's still gonna be me, but just calm down, <laughs> calm it down. Maybe not say as many fucks as I like to. Or call people cunts. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. I love it. <laughs> no one expects it. But uh, in the live stream stuff, it's just going to be on live stream stuff. The main plan for this is, again, it's not to get YouTube clout. It's mainly, if anything, it's for the it's for the professional Let's Play channel to get enough advertisement so people can get more interested in heading to the personal channel so that I can just make the personal channel and not have to worry about YouTube's algorithm and just have and just have a group of people there that enjoy that so that that carries the stuff and word of mouth spreads through that and YouTube and we don't have to worry about the YouTube algorithm we can just do whatever the fuck we want you know and uh yeah that's the plan if you want to check out my Twitch uh it's in the description it's on my channel description it'll probably be on all of them oh and by the way i have a twitter too an x or whatever the fuck listen i'll be honest with you that thing is pretty much dead fucking uh i don't like social media at all if you're someone that's like well where's the so where's the snap where's the where's the myspace fucking dude i hate again like i said earlier not that much of a social bug i hate social media like Twitch with Twitch. Twitter was like maybe the best one that I really liked because I can just look at things real quick and then put it away. But it has slowly devolved into just like bullshit. So now when it comes to social media, the only thing I really have going for me is Discord, which I don't want to give people my personal Discord. Like fucking I'm sorry, man, I really don't, so I gotta I gotta make like a Discord server. But uh you know that's the that's the plan right and i believe that's everything i want to say once again if you're someone who's on board for this i look forward to seeing you right hearing from you if you want to talk to me in the most direct way possible it would either be on you know comments of youtube videos right uh on all the channels you know because i do read comments i really do and whenever those channels get enough uh, clout, I guess, to have a community tab in them, that will that will be another way to get to me directly. Until until we uh, get the Discord server situation uh, going, right? That and Twitch, of course. Twitch is always the most direct because it will be live, right? Um, and that's the that's the plan going forward, right? It's been a long time coming. I'm ready to start fresh. I'm ready to start anew. And just maybe this maybe this go around this go around everything will be divided nicely youtube will play nice with me and we'll truly see if i'm entertaining enough to people for people to give a damn or not you know and if not then so be it right all i can say is that i'm having fun i tried the people who do the videos with me are having fun the artists who help me write the stuff are having fun fucking people in my twitch they're having fun you know if youtube is just not a thing that it's just a thing that doesn't work out that's fine you know i, I really don't care but that's everything video's going too long we're at 50 minutes now so as always i want to say thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the next video stay happy stay healthy and take care <laughs>